Parker had to learn everything again from walking to brushing his teeth to standing up to talking again, everything. He had to start all over. Three years ago, I had a brain hemorrhage that required some surgery, a craniotomy. The surgery was fine, but because of the trauma, the irritation to the brain due to the blood being on the brain, I did have to learn how to walk, talk, use the bathroom. Pretty much every, every personal care that you could think of had to learn how to do it again. Patients like Parker and Katrina have recovered from brain injuries and are leading happy and productive lives thanks to Shepherd Center. Hello, I'm Darren Kagan, and I'm pleased to tell you about Shepherd Center, where thousands of people with mild to severe brain injuries have sought help. Just take a look at what's possible here. Shepherd Center specializes in medical treatment, research and rehabilitation for people with spinal cord injuries, acquired brain injuries, MS, chronic pain, and other neurological conditions. It was founded in 1975. Shepherd Center has become the largest specialty care hospital of its kind in the world. This world-class facility offers a large variety of therapies and programs. They emphasize support for the patient's family as they help their loved one heal. The programs include patient and family education and counseling, pastoral care and weekly worship services, and housing in the Irene and George Woodruff Family Residence Center. I always recommend that a person with a traumatic brain injury go to a program that is very skilled and very versed in how to handle that particular problem. You know, I could just keep saying it. They just know this is what they do day in and day out. They know what they're doing. And I felt so confident the whole time um, that he was in the best care. They had what I needed to recover and teach me everything that I needed for my new lifestyle. All right. From the time that I left Vanderbilt in April of 2006 to now is like comparing night to day. It was incredible from day one when we got here. I remember the nurses coming in. I mean, the attention that we got, the care that we got, the, the kindness that we received. An acquired brain injury may cause massive and scattered injury throughout the brain. And since it's often difficult to determine an outcome, individualized expert treatment is required. It's precisely the kind of specialty treatment you'll find here at Shepherd Center. Look at Miss Melissa. I'm going. We call our program the Acquired Brain Injury Program at Shepherd Center because we take a variety of type of injuries to the brain. So we see a wide variety of problems and feel very comfortable handling all of them. For patients who are comatose or minimally conscious, Shepherd Center offers a specialized program called PrEP. A key focus of this program is family training and education so that families can begin preparing themselves and learning the necessary skills they'll need to take their loved one home. Justin, are you sleepy? Justin was in our local hospital and we got no training to prepare me to go home with him. But here at Shepherds, they do take time with us to train us. Acquired brain injuries are being treated in a number of locations around the country, possibly even in your own community. And we know you might be apprehensive about traveling far from home. But while being away from home is temporary, the specialized medical treatment, rehabilitation, and community reintegration skills that you're going to learn here are designed to last a lifetime. Looking good. It's worth being here at the Shepherd Center. There's an energy here, and you're around so many other people that are in the same position that you are, and you see people improving. It just is a, it's a great atmosphere to be in. Studies show that patients with brain injuries are more likely to have fewer medical complications and achieve more independence if they go directly to a hospital that treats a high volume of these patients, like Shepherd Center does. They knew what they were doing in all of the therapies. It was so important to act immediately after the brain injury because that first year after your brain injury is when 90% of the healing takes place. When a patient is admitted to Shepherd, a team of doctors, counselors, and education coordinators monitor the psychological readiness of each patient and begin family training programs for patients and family members who will learn about the injury, its consequences, and how to prepare for life after discharge. 
walking in the door at Shepherd is is very interesting, and it's it's a different feeling from any other hospital. It's a little looser than it was, though. I think that's from better. everybody, from every doctor, nurse, uh, the people who keep the hospital clean, people who you buy the food from in the cafeteria, everybody across the board has a smile on their face. And that energy helps the families, it helps the patients. After an initial assessment, Shepherd's care team works together to facilitate the patient's recovery. They create an individualized plan of care that balances medication management, therapies, environmental stimulation, family training, and rest. The staff's overall attitude during my recovery was, was wonderful. They were very positive, had a very positive outlook for me, and that's what I need. So much happened here at Shepard to make the difference in his recovery. The, the quality of the, of the staff, the doctors, um, their knowledge of knowing how far to push him, knowing when to pull back. Look at there, good job. Where to work with his mind, how to work with his mind. Because Shepherd Center believes family involvement is an important part of successful rehabilitation, temporary housing is available for families who live outside the Atlanta area. Families stay at Shepherd Center's Irene and George Woodruff Family Residence Center. That's an 84-unit residence center next door to the hospital. After an inpatient stay, many patients with complex injuries need to continue their recovery and rehabilitation but no longer require round-the-clock care of a hospital setting. Our typical stay at, at Shepherd Center is about 25 to 30 days, depending on the severity and recovery rate of, a, of the uh, patient. When they leave uh, Shepherd Center, the typical patient will go to our outpatient day treatment program called Shepherd Pathways. That's a program where we take people and help them to ease back into the community by continuing to work on their physical and cognitive needs, but also helping them to focus on the things they're going to do when they go back home. For those who still require 24-hour assistance, Shepherd Pathways also includes residential units for up to 12 patients while they participate in therapy. Some patients with brain injury will need long-term supported living, which is why Shepherd founded Spring Creek House, it's set in a wooded neighborhood near Shepherd Pathways. Spring Creek House is a six-bedroom home with 24-hour supervised care. Finally, when you leave Shepherd Center, the Marcus Community Bridge Program provides follow-up rehabilitation services for up to a year as you readapt to your home and community. Shepherd was great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I definitely would not be here today. I've been in the medical field for about 12 years now, and through the Shepherd Center, I was able to join this bridge program to help me get back to work. One of the things that makes the Shepherd Center a world-class brain injury program, and what creates a lot of desire for patients to want to come to our facility, is our involvement in research. We are one of the few facilities in the, in the country that leads research in medications that may speed up recovery and also looks at the management of spasticity or tightness that can develop after a traumatic brain injury. If you decide to come here for rehabilitation, Shepherd will help you with the admissions process every step of the way, including negotiating with your health insurance company if there's limitations in your coverage or if your carrier is not accustomed to dealing with out-of-state specialty hospitals. Shepherd Center will also work with your referring hospital to make sure your transfer here is as smooth as possible. At Shepherd Center, he has that chance that he wouldn't otherwise have if he hadn't been here. Even if they send him home and he's not 100% better, they keep that bridge. Shepherd Center has that bridge where they'll bring him back even when they progress. I like it, I like it. Shepherd is wonderful in allowing everybody to see that life goes on and there's so much quality of life left that um, you perhaps have a much higher quality of life You're when you here. leave here than when you came. This is the happiest day of your life. Basically the Shepherd Center helped me learn to appreciate life every day and I'm so thankful every day that where I am and what I can do. Every profession has experts, those individuals who have gained a level of expertise beyond the norm. In the treatment of acquired brain injuries, 
Shepherd Center is that expert. To learn more about Shepherd Center, visit shepherd.org online or call 1-800-SHEPHERD. We invite you to look at other rehabilitation centers. Then take a look at what's possible at Shepherd Center. I don't think that I would be where I am today without the Shepherd Center.